Hi, I'm Carissa. I'm going to do a jade split tutorial for you today. Uh, one thing I want to do first before I actually do the tutorial is a little demonstration. I think what a lot of people get confused about with jades is that they need to be really flexible. And jade is actually a um, strength move more so than flexibility. So I'm going to demonstrate two uh, splits that people think that they need to have really amazing before they can do a jade. One is just a regular basic front split. Um, I can probably get flat in it. I'm not warmed up in my splits. I have done some light cardio, but uh, down through my pole and stuff like that first before I turn this camera on, but I'm not warmed up in my splits. So I don't want to push anything and I don't want to get hurt, but I could probably get flat. Yesterday was leg day, however. But I'm definitely, as you will be able to see, not in an over split by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and the other one is the one where you lay on your back and you pull your leg towards your body. And that's really the one where people tend to concentrate on stretching for the jades that I've noticed in my experience. They seem to think they need to be flat for that. So I may or may not be um, as flexible or more flexible than you. The point of this demonstration is just to show how on my ability to be flat in a split or that other, I'm not even sure what it's called, move that has nothing to do with my ability to be flat in a jade. So I'm going to do those two splits first and then I'm going to hop on the pole and do a quick jade. Uh, all three of these moves are going to be unwarmed up, um, except for, like I said, the light cardio. I have done no split stretching. So my middle split, or sorry, my front split, So this is the one where we're going to pull, try to grab our feet and pull them towards our head. All right. Now then, Let's see if I can even grab. No, I'm not going to grab my feet, but I can get to my ankle here. So this is me here, and I am not going to go farther. This is really tight down here. Uh, too much leg day yesterday, I think. Anyway, this is where I'm at. I don't want to hold it too long unless you guys think that that was stretching for my jade, but anyhow, here we go. I'm going to now do a jade. And you can see the difference between my split and that floor thing and what my jade is going to look like. Again, remember this is all unwarmed up. So I'm sure that you could see the difference. I don't really know what that jade looked like, but I'm assuming it was a lot flatter than anything I was doing on the floor. So the jade tutorial, the things that you need to be able to do, first of all, to be able to do a jade, which I'm not doing in this tutorial, is a hip hold, an inside leg hang, and an outside leg hang. If you can do those three things, you will be able to do a jade. Um, obviously, of course, to the inverts. So I find, the jade easiest for my own personal. The easiest for me to get into a jade is from an outside leg hang. I like that uh, grip the best. A lot of people just do it straight from the hip hold. Uh, you can do it either way. So first I'll just demonstrate what I mean by hip hold, inside leg hang and outside leg hang, just because who knows who's watching this from where and every move has a different name. So I'm gonna do the hip hold this way so you can see. So I'm gonna invert here. And I'm going to grab in between here and there. So there's the hip hold. My hips is what's holding me up there. So that's what I mean by hip hold. Uh, there is the outside leg hang. I don't know if this is a good angle for it, but this is the outside leg hang. Uh, we call it a Gemini and the inside leg hang. Um, and here we call this a Scorpio. So those are the three things that you really do need to be um, comfortable with to be able to do the jade. So the most important thing is once you're up in the jade, is to pull your chest up 
to your leg, not pull your leg down to your chest. And that's where the flexibility versus strength comes in. When you pull your leg down towards your chest, you're relying 100% on hamstring flexibility. And um, you might fall down too, like off the floor, because you lose a bit of connection. The other thing is, is um, pulling the leg across the front leg, the one that's over my head, I'm gonna pull it tight into the pole and across my body. And the other leg is gonna tip, my toes are gonna point straight, they're gonna point like that. That's gonna give me a drop there instead of like that. So the toe point is gonna, when I turn the toe out a bit, it'll drop my leg just a little bit that way. I'm pushing into my hip, so I'm rolling the hip into the pole as I pull that leg over my head. So that's a lot of strength in there too. And again, bring that chest up. Chest up is going to use my hip flexors instead of my hamstring. So when we're on the ground here, one thing, when we're on the ground here, and we're right there, as soon as we feel that tip, you can try this yourself too. If you have your hand under here, when you bring your hamstring up, when you feel that tip, or that, sorry, that pull there, you're gonna actually feel your back roll. When your back rolls, that allows you to come back farther, that's hip flexor. That's no longer hamstring doing the work. So right there, you can feel it on your hand if you do it on the back. So this is when your hip flexor starts working instead of your hamstring. So when you come up, sorry, my camera shut off. Apparently I needed more room on my phone. Anyways, as I was saying on the floor with the um, hip flexor, when we bring our chest to the uh, knee, we are using the hip flexor then instead of the hamstring, or we're using some of the hip flexor then instead of all hamstring. So that's uh, the most important thing to remember when we're doing this. So like I said before, I really prefer going into it from the outside leg hang. I think that's the easiest uh, way to get a good grip, but many people just go straight from the uh, hip fold as well. So I'm going to invert into my outside leg hang. Okay, I want to make sure I have a nice grip in here, so I'm nice and secure there. I want it right in my hip. So when I bring this leg around here, the grip is solid. So here, before I let go with this leg, I'm going to pull up my chest to my knee. My hand is pushing my hip to the pole, my arm is pulling my leg into the pole. So I've got a really good grip there, and I'm going to let go. If this is your first time trying, just practice holding this. And then you can tip the leg this way. It's going to look like this at first, of course, for your first time trying, but as you get more and more and more, you're going to come this way, down and down and down, down and down, until you're really flat. So that is some of the things that you want to do for the jade. Like I said, some people go into it straight from this hip fold. I always hit my ceiling, so I don't like it. To come out, you can hook your leg on there for your inside leg hang. And you're out. Okay, so the jade from the top. Things to remember, most important, hip or hand on the hip, we're gonna push the hip into the pole. This leg that's coming forward over my head, I'm gonna grab the ankle and pull it across the pole, across my body. I'm really securing that hip hold grip in there, making sure I don't slide down the pole when I'm doing it. Pulling my chest to my leg, not my leg to my chest. Very important. As we are using the back leg, the strength of the back leg to drop the split. That's what's gonna be bringing us flatter, is the strength of this back leg, not the flexibility of the front leg. So we need to um, work on that. And then instead of having the flat toe point, we're gonna turn out. But even if you watch from here when I'm doing this, there is point, there is out. You can see my leg drops a couple of inches there. So point and out. So that is the final piece to getting a nice flat jade. So I'm just going to do this from the start. I'm not gonna pause in between because it makes it more difficult to keep the proper contact when I'm constantly adjusting my hands and showing where everything is like I did in the uh, first one there. So just, like I said, hand on the hip, push to the pole, leg pulled across my body, this leg activated. And there's your nice flat jades.
Thank you, man. Thank you.